What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Welcome to the Double Chen Show. And this came across our news uh, feed and it's pretty amazing. So yeah. why don't you guys watch the whole video first? We have it in the description box. Take a look and then we're gonna talk about it. Yeah. Uh, this is a segment on the Bill O'Reilly Show. That's probably one of the most popular shows on Fox. And this is a, it's a man on the street segment with a reporter named- um, Jesse Waters. Jesse Waters. Mm -hmm. And this is, they were talking about the presidential uh, debates and, right. uh, and about how China was used um, came up a lot. Right, the word China was mentioned, they said, several times. So uh, Jesse Waters went to the streets of Chinatown, New York, and the clip basically he's trying to see what Chinese people thought about the elections. That's what you think he's gonna go do. Right, and yeah. I, I don't, I never watched his other stuff before. Right. So I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of theme he has on, on the segments. Right, like I don't know what I've never seen the show, like yeah. you said. So maybe he is a comedian, or maybe there's uh, satirical aspects to it. Yeah. Um, even so, like I, I wasn't expecting to see what I saw. Yeah. It it was it was a shocker, especially for for let's let's say a major news network, right? Yeah. I mean, look, you guys expect this out of you know what we did, talked about before, yeah. Jennifer Murphy, this is some somebody that's basically uh, privately doing something that she yeah. thinks it's funny, but this is now, you're talking about Fox News. You're talking about Bill O'Reilly, which is, like like I said, arguably one of the top, if not the top show right. on Fox, most watched show on Fox. Right. Interview the gamut of Chinese people, um, and but the tone, when the video was released, the tone, uh, Basically, people heavily, heavily criticized this video, right? This segment, and I think, I think for me, it really hit me at the end of the video mm -hmm. because I think it progressively gets worse. And at the yeah. end of the video, how he expressed his view on what he what he filmed in the in the segment that he made, yeah. really that made me mad. Yeah, that made me mad right there. Like that, like pushed it over the edge for me. Yeah, because I'm already kind of I'm a little desensitized mm -hmm. to this stuff now because. Because I thought nothing could get worse than the Jennifer Murphy thing, so like, I mean, so that thing kind of just like killed killed a lot of uh, the, the the sensitivity yeah. nerves in my brain. I'm just kind of like, all right, but okay. So so I'm watching this. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> I mean, it's it's at least he's not trying to be a ninja, but right. there's so many things in there that he's intentionally making fun, absolutely, of Chinese people. Well, let's just start out. I mean, the first two ladies he interviews. I mean, how stereotypical is this? when you go up to somebody and you go, hey, t teach me something in your language. Is this how you say hello? Hello? Like, yeah, you, you want to try to relate to me, but in this case, you know, he was basically like, nei hao, lei hao, which is Cantonese for hello. Yeah. Um, so it, already, to me, uh, I'm, I'm already saying, oh, uh, oh. When I when that moment comes on, I go, oh no, this well, is not going to be a good segment. He, he, asked, he asked if he should bow, yeah. which, I mean, look, that dude. I don't know how many of you guys feel the same way as I do, uh, being an Asian person right. as yourself. I'm sure every single Asian person living outside of Asian countries have had people come up to you and, and, and do right. the bow thing, right. e either to mock you right. or to more just insincere. Most of the time it's insincere. Absolutely. So like it's not, let's just put everything else aside. Whenever someone s says, should I bow, to me like, I mean maybe 1% are really being sincere, like should I, I don't know what to do, am I right. supposed to, okay. All right, but most of the time it's it's in a very mocking, absolutely attitude manner. Is this how you bow? Look, if you want to learn, let's say you and I we went to wherever India, we went to Bhutan. There's a lot of customs there. There's a lot of religious customs. We probably to really respect that. Yeah, you, you would probably do your research first. Yeah. You know, from the bottom of your heart, you would find out what is acceptable and what is not. And when you get there, you would make your every effort to do that. Yeah. Not go. Not. It's basically like you get there and you go. Yo, I have arrived. How do you do this? Show me how you do this. Oh, did I do it right? I yeah. don't really care. It's kind of like that attitude. Exactly. And then we mixed on, and this thing, this thing that came up with the Jennifer Murphy thing too. You, you can't tell Asian, I mean, we're different. Yeah. We kind of look the same, but we're different. I right. mean, there's Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai. There's a lot of different Asians out there, okay? Right. Indian, a lot of different Asians out there. So again, do you know karate comes up? Uh, always. Always. Yeah. Again, you know karate. always. Karate is predominantly something practiced in Japan. Right. So going up to China and be like, first of all, it's insulting to all Asians when you go up to us and be like, do no karate. Like seriously, right. that's one of the most racist comments any Asian will, right. most racist and, all, uh, and also most often, uh, most often used comments Absolutely. to Asians. Right. I mean like you don't go up to, 
I mean, like, oh, I can't even think of the equivalent of like going up to say like a Caucasian person and saying something because that that just doesn't work in my mind like that. Like, you yeah. would never go up to somebody and be like, "Excuse me, Bob, do you know blank blank blank?" Never happened. So there's obviously a, lo a lot of things in this video that you can nitpick, and that's not what we're trying to do here. I'm not trying to nitpick what was wrong mm -hmm. with this video, but we want to bring to you guys that this is again like this. After this happened, now this is a huge deal. Yeah. Um, it wasn't like Jennifer Murphy where you know there was some backlash and you know on the internet. This is actually, it's gotten to the point where government officials, many of them, today, uh, Thursday, if you're watching this on Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, will be leading a protest yeah. out News Corp headquarters in Midtown. You're talking about assemblymen. You're talking about actual people yeah. of the government leading this it's not people it's not you and i like hey let's get out there let's let's raise some awareness yeah. no you you are now being protested against by assemblymen who represent the people yeah and also um other people like celebrities are also speaking yep. out like, and journalists journalists yeah. also speaking out about this and in the clip he emphasizes that okay this is just for fun right. um it's gentle humor soft humor whatever but you know what you don't get to decide what's funny right and especially at the end when him and bill are talking and this is the part that really riled me up um bill was like i think bill was trying to be pc a little bit yeah which is surprising yeah I don't, which is I, I i had to right. hand bill a little bit right right there. because yeah. in the video he literally goes to old people and was just like yeah. It, oh yeah, they don't speak in English. Congratulations, Jesse. You speak yeah. better English than they do. Right. Yeah, you should point that out. That's really awesome. Right. So that was, a, that was appalling, by the way. Yeah, that was appalling. So then Bill was like, "Well, mo most of them they seem to know what's going on in the political right. world." And, and his response yeah. was just like, "Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. They didn't know anything yeah. about what was going on." I also had the most problem with this exchange at Bill at the end. Yeah. Because he, this is how he said, "These people." Yeah. Okay, these people, and this is where what I want to address. To me, this is just, this is what white privilege is, okay? You're, you're thinking, Jesse, that yeah, you have, you have a show, you get paid. He goes, I get paid to come out there yeah. and ask people questions. These people don't know much. Jesse, look, we, we, we get it. Like, you got a nice job, you got a good cushy gig on TV, but who do you think lives in America? Yeah, it's predominantly Caucasian, but there are so many minorities in America right now and growing. America is really one of the only countries that has a pretty open immigration policy, even considering what happened after 9-11. So to, to be like, to have the attitude that these people, like it's my country, these people don't know much, whatever, it's just absolutely appalling attitude to have, especially in this day and age, especially when you guys are talking about yeah. Trump, who we all know have, who basically he's being called a bigot, a racist. That's basically what people say he is, right? Which basically is the way he comes off. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, aren't you guys aren't aren't you guys supposed to be? I mean, look, Fox News. We all know. Come on, it's right right winged, uh, predominant demographic, probably sixty and up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Predominantly and, white audience. Yeah. But I mean, also like you, the part you were talking mm -hmm. about when people were saying these people and O'Reilly's response was. Oh, yeah, they, they, they didn't walk away because they had, they had nothing to do. Right. <laughs> really? Okay, well, I'm sorry. It seemed like, you know, we, they, yeah. we, yeah. I guess, as Chinese Americans or Asian Americans, mm -hmm. we had nothing to do. Yeah. Because I guess all we do is sit around and play Mahjong. Yeah, and, and another thing is too, what, what I, I, first of all, I support the protest because it's not just uh, Chinese Politician. Exactly. First of all, Ron Kim is South Korean. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of, I don't want to say he's leading the charge, but you know, he's he's probably one of the main guys there. And then you have the comptroller of New York City. Then you have a newly elected um, Chinese woman. She actually broke a lot of barriers. Uh, uh, Yu Ling, Yu Ling Niao. Yeah. Um, she used to serve under Ron Kim. She's born in China. Yeah. Just look at who's representing New York City. A lot of minorities already. Absolutely. So. I mean, like, how do you get on television and then blatantly mock an entire ethnicity of people? And also, I, I don't think he could tell definitely, like, Koreans, Chinese, Japanese. No. He's like, whatever. He's not Asians. even trying to. He's not even trying not, to. That's not what he, like, I'm surprised. I don't know if Jesse's a journalist. Yeah. Like, he's just, like, literally someone they hired. They're just like, yeah, just go be a clown and just, yeah. like, muck around. Yeah. I mean, that's the case. Okay, you're, you're, you, don't, you don't know anything, but, you, but it's Fox. It's Fox News. You're on a major network. Mm -hmm. You know, show some, show some sort of integrity, of journalistic, journalistic yeah. integrity. And, and look, Bill O'Reilly has ruffled a lot of feathers yeah. over the years, but 
when I was watching that, I was felt a little uncomfortable because it's, it did seem like he was trying to be like, well, what did they have to say? Because yeah. at the end of the day, you're still trying to, the whole segment to me was about, you're trying to show like what Asian, what immigrants and Asian Americans thought about Trump or Hillary and try to get their side. But mostly what you got was old, old, old Asian lady couldn't speak uh, Chinese. And you know, I got to hand it to that old Chinese dude. That dude basically slapped Jesse upside the head. Cause he was like, he Jesse asked him to say something, something like, "This, this is, is our the, world. This is our, this is my world." Yeah, and he yeah. he was Cantonese, and he he was like, "If you don't, if you don't say it right, don't say it at all." Because I, he probably got people coming up to him throughout <laughs> the years, going, hey, "How do you say that?" And now and now you got a, a microphone, and you're on national national television. Do you know how many millions of people are have watched and are watching that? And you know what that does? It really dumbs down. Like, imagine, look, we live in New York City, San Francisco. We lived in these major cities where it's very diverse. Can you imagine, like, other people in America, like, that aren't from, like, from Quincy, Illinois, who are like, man, maybe they're like, those people sure are dumb. Like, that's, yeah, because they made them look like that. Yeah, it's, just, it's also, you gotta think about the process, right? Jesse, it's, it's not Jesse can be like one day, hey, I'm gonna go into China to do all this stuff. It's Jesse, his producer, his Bill O'Reilly, everybody in that whole show, who, like, if you don't know anything about a network show, usually they have, like, over a hundred people, maybe hundreds yeah. of people working for a particular show. Because, you know, throughout the whole marketing spectrum, right. whatever operations, there's a lot of people. Right. A lot of people are involved in the decisions right. of, a, of a particular segment. Right. So everyone had to be like, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, or or, or they sort of chuckled. Yeah, yeah. Look, let's see what you get on the street. It would be funny, right? You run to an old Chinese guy, let's see what he says. And it, it is changing right now, I feel. So even this year, you know, we talked about the Chris Rock thing, okay? Yeah. A lot of backlash. Uh, a lot of the Hollywood whitewashing stories, then the Jennifer Murphy thing. And every time there, there's definitely awareness and on not just by Asians, but non-Asians as well, whether it's ca Caucasian, Hispanic, Black, Indian, people come to the defense of any minority group that's yeah. being made fun of because we are all minorities, right? Except for the, you know, whites. So now I feel like it's really gotten to the top of the sort of attention list. No, now when yeah. government people take over. Well, I mean, it, it, it's 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 about time it rises up right. more because being racist towards Asians have we always felt, we as Asians have always felt it's not a bottom up any any to do to do list or right. any totem pole like that. That's just like, all right, you're being a little racist to Asians. Everyone can do it. Black people can do it. White people can do it. I, and Asians just won't usually speak up. So, right. but that's changing, right? We have more politicians who are uh, from Asian backgrounds. We right. have more uh, people who who are more outspoken, right. who who have a bigger platform, who are from you know Asian backgrounds. When we're saying, you know what, that's not going to sit well with us. No. And we're going to speak out about it. Even every time we do these videos, someone's like, can't you take a joke? Well, I'm sorry, like I said, you don't get to decide what's exactly. offensive to people. Exactly. Okay? So you don't get to decide what is funny. I could li literally, like, that's what people said to us mm -hmm. when we were young. They'd be like, hey, chung dong nung on. Just like, a joke. Come on, man. Yeah, man, what are you upset? It's just a joke. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, I mean, so it, it doesn't go away, Jennifer Murphy, Jesse, yeah. when you just say it, it's just a joke. Right. And you know, you know the, the irony of all this is one, what at one point Jesse says, uh, Oh, these again. These people—they're—they're they're not gonna walk away. They don't have much to say, or they don't know much. They're really nice, you know. They don't—they don't, they don't want to like be standoffish in a way. Well, it's ironic because now the people you interviewed didn't do that, but now everyone else, everyone else who watched that, they're basically standing up for blatant racism. Yeah. You know. So, ha! I guess at the end of the day, jokes on you. And you know what? Look, what do I want to see? If people are like, well, what do you want to see? Honestly, I want to see this gets addressed. All right. Yeah. I want, first of all, he, d again, no real apology. Again, like he didn't issue, he issued something three days later, but what he said was, hey, come on. Like it was a joke. joke. I'm sorry. I or hurt it's, people's it's, it's feelings. It's a cookie cutter thing, right? It's like exactly. Uh, if I fit it, if I fit it, anybody, right. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's cookie cutter yeah. statement that you don't, like, you obviously don't believe it. Yeah, you're not, I mean, we don't feel like you believe right. it, so. I'll tell you right now, something's gonna happen after today because before they probably thought, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Internet, internet well, goes that's what Bill said. Bill yeah. was like, oh, we'll get some letters, but whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, whatever. Oh my God, when I was watching that, because we already know what took place, it's kind of like watching the, the, the catastrophe unfold. Yeah, we're gonna get some letters like we normally do. No, not this time. You're gonna, you have national attention on you. I mean, 
Bill O'Reilly might not lose his job over this. Probably not, because he said probably a lot of bad things. Well, look, no one's gonna, I don't think yeah. anyone's going to lose their job. I think obviously, j- because no one's going to take this like in, in, in the networks. No one, because you know what? Yeah. People in the networks, they don't. They're probably going to be like, you know what? Yeah, we don't really even know what the big uproar is about this. So yeah. what? Like that's what I'm kind of feeling. The networks yeah. feeling. It Asians about don't this. watch us. It's just it's just our demographic, and this is who watches us. Who cares? They they don't watch us. We're just playing to our demographic. Yeah. Well. Hey man, that's why I mean, look, we look, we a lot a lot of networks. It's not like before where they just make tons of money now. You know, they do actually have to kind of make sure that they they don't deliver wrong messages yeah. or else people won't watch you. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, it's a good thing that also like you said, a lot of immigrants are coming to this country and one of the biggest rising immigrant population is the Asian um, yep. is the Asian demographic. So, this demographic is important and right. you should everyone should try to understand us and that's not that's really what we're asking for right. try to understand us mm-hmm. not just from the karate kid films and whatever other thing you right. can dig up i mean understand our culture really try to understand right. our culture not just be like let's just make fun of it because it's funny right so anyway let us know your thoughts on this video and uh, of course we couldn't put the whole video up so we have the entire video in the description box uh, for you guys to take a look at thank you all so much for watching see you later guys